Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Safe and today I'm going to show you how you can use Zoho inventory as a complete beginner. So let's get started. First you need to sign up. I usually use Google because it's faster and easier. Now let's choose account. Skip for now. And almost there. Now let's choose this organization. If you don't have an organization, you have to create a new one. And here we are. So basically this is your home tab and this is your dashboard. In this tutorial, we are interested in creating a new item from inventory. So let's get started and go to items. Here you can create, there is an item which I have created before. So now I will just press a new item to start the whole process from scratch. Here it will ask you some um, basic information like the type uh, of the item, whether it's goods or service. So let's say for example, it's uh, goods, name it as uh, maybe white t-shirt it will ask you about the sq and the unit so you can choose the unit in mini the units here i will just choose pieces and i will say it's returnable item here you can drag an image of your product by pressing on this it will redirect you uh, to upload an image from your own device. So let's just skip this point. Here you can also decide the dimensions of your product. Uh, this helps in packaging and shipping. So uh, you can place the dimensions here, length, width, and height. Here you can add a manufacturer. You can add MPN, UPC, ISPN, and so on and so forth. I will just skip these parts. Here you need to I will just fill the, the mandatory cells for the sake of the time of the tutorial. So the mandatory cells are the ones which are colored in red. So let's fill the setting price, maybe um, $50 per shirt. Cost price, let's say $25. Account sales and account for purchase is cost of goods sold. Here you can write a description and here you can write choose your preferred vendor if you inserted it before here you can use the inventory account so um, let's just choose inventory assets and you can fill the rest of the un of the non-mandatory cells the way you want and how it is suitable with your own product and business so now let's save our item Perfect, so you have added your first item and here are uh, all the informations which are related to it. You can also access the transactions here. You can filter by sales order, invoices, purchase orders, bills and more. And you can also choose the status of your uh, product. Here you can also see the history of your product so that you can track its performance and how um, or you edit or manage the edits on this product. So uh, this is basically how we create an item. Now let's say that you want to add a large number of items at a time, at a one time. So it's not practical to add item by item. So now let's return to items again and press on this three dots and choose import items. Here you have the option uh, to choose a file which is in CSV format or uh, or Excel format so that it will take all the items at one time. You can also choose here to skip duplicates and overwrite, uh, overwrite items. You can choose the character encoding. I prefer to use it as default. So once you choose your file, you can attach from desktop, from cloud, from documents. It will uh, move you to the next uh, tab, 
I didn't create a file for this tutorial to be honest. However, I will try to upload a random Excel sheet and I will see if it will work so that we can move to the next steps. Okay, let's try this one. And press on next. Okay, the format is not supported. It needs the format in CSV. So I will just navigate to the, to the file from here. Uh, so here is a random Excel sheet. I will just navigate to file and press on save as. Here I can use two, two formats, the XLS and CSV. So let's just try the XLS format and press on, let's just change the name so that it doesn't replace the item and press on save. Now let's return again to Zoho inventory and let's import or replace this file. Now let's try it and press on next. And it worked. So uh, here you have the map fields section which represents the link between each, uh, each column that Zoho identifies and the columns in your sheet. So you have to link uh, these two with each other. So the item name for Zoho has to be identical to the item name in your Excel sheet. And so you can just link between this and this so you can uh, make them both are the same. Same for the other cells here. A sales description column in Zoho has to be equal to sales description column in your Excel sheet. So ha you just have to co correlate and link uh, these uh, two columns to be identical and after finishing you can just uh, select next and you will be transmitted to the preview section then you can uh, import your Excel uh, sheet into Zoho. So the final thing I want to discuss is uh, the inventory adjustment here. You can create a new adjustment in case something bad happened to your inventory like a fire or or steel or something like this so you can um, do your adjustment based on quantity or value adjustment you can mention the name uh, the date of uh, the adjustment or uh, the, the date which the adjustment will be based on you can uh, select your account you can select the reason here there are multiple reasons that god forbid we don't want to happen however if it happened you can choose from this for example, stock on fire, and you can write your description. You can also uh, add your item details from here, and you can also add uh, rows from here and upload a file from your PC from here. Once you are done, you can uh, save as draft or you can convert to adjust it in case you want to immediately use it. So uh, basically, uh, that's Zoho inventory in a nutshell. Hope you guys learned from this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.